Okay, welcome back. So, um, just to recap from the last tutorial, we have our two pieces of cotil, pattern one and pattern two, put together. Pattern two being the outside, pattern one being the inside, and we have our lines on pattern one. Basically, and it's all been tacked together nicely, beautiful. Um, we are now going to start stitching in or uh, top stitching our um, our boning channels. Okay, and I'm going to use a really quite disgusting um, acrid lime green just to show you, so it's a bit more, it's a bit clear. Uh, uh, it's a little bit more clear on the corset because obviously white is just going to fade in. Um, obviously, you can either use a contrast stitch to your, you know, your nice material, or it can be the same kind of colour. Whatever you want to do, it's absolutely fine. You have to be very, very neat when it comes to this bit because these are lines that people are going to see, or these are stitching lines that people are actually going to see in it. And there's also a, a bit of detailing you can do to make them look a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. So, I'm going to start off with one. Also. There is a um, an order of which you sew these seam, uh, these these channels, because obviously if you were to um, stitch in these top ones here, and then stitch in these two here, you wouldn't be able to access this one here. Not when it comes to stitching, but when it comes to actually feeding the boning through, because it's cut off at this end and it's cut off at this end. So there is a certain order that these go in. Now you can either follow my order or you can just uh, try and figure it out for yourself. It's absolutely fine. Um, either way, it makes no difference. This only applies to the front panel pieces, so the centre centre front, you've got your front piece and obviously the opposite, the mirror side, these are the only ones that have to be done in a certain order. All the other ones can be stitched in, just as you stitched in, it's absolutely fine, okay? Now, you see where the red tacking is, you want to be stitching a channel down here as well. It's actually indicated on your pattern, but we um, we basically just didn't draw them on because there's, there's no point, we, we know where the middle of that, that line is anyway. But you'll see uh, w when we finish this and the overview is all there and stuff, okay? So literally I'm just going to start stitching in. Um, Alright, also, very quickly, um, just also make sure that the entire pattern is pinned all the way around. I'm going to do that in a minute, but first of all let me just show you this, the way you do this. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> Now this might seem very obvious, yes it's just top stitching, fine, but there's also a very pr a pretty way of finishing it off. Because you, you have your, um, what's it called, back stitching, you know when you, you go forward and then you run back over it to secure your stitch? Well with corsetry you're going to actually see this, so it can look messy unless you adopt uh, a technique or a system. So I'm going to do about 1.5cm from the actual seam or from the end of my channel and I'm just going to go over it like this, okay? That makes it quite nice and chunky and it makes it nice and neat. So I'm now ready to start stitching. And notice I did that without the machine being on. I literally just, you know, rolled it with my finger to make sure it's absolutely precise. That will give you a really nice tidy kind of seam. And what I'm doing is, just very, very slowly, very carefully, I'm just stitching this seam, okay? Following the line. And you can always stop and, you know, move your pattern piece around. Because this bit has to be very, very neat. And just follow the line. If you slightly go off it, then, you know, try and move back onto it. Also, hopefully you drew the lines out really beautifully and really accurately. If you didn't, this is now a chance to kind of go in, look at the width of your lines and start to try and correct it by smooth, gradual uh, amounts. Okay? Also, one last thing. Now, when it comes to um, backspacing here, the way this works is we're eventually going to put some bias binding, a strip of bias binding all the way around this corset which we folded over. So there's going to be about 0.7 um, centimetres that isn't going to be visible to the human eye because obviously it's going to be covered by the bias binding. So this is a great place to use your back stitching, just do a little bit in there, okay? Now for us we can see that but when the bias binding is over it you'll just have a really beautiful simple seam like that. And where it is visible you'll just have, well with this thread's quite thick, but uh, you could go over this a few times, maybe bring it out slightly and have almost like a little... Okay, disgusting. Bust my finger up. Um, you can have maybe like a two millimeter little square of stitching here. Like, okay, let me show you, for example, really quickly, just to show you how you can kind of customize and make this a little bit prettier. So we can just go in again, literally just next to it. And I'm just gonna roll, there we go. Okay, we can go backward. Okay, that's not locking in for some reason. Can we just go backwards once again? And I'm doing this very quickly. You can make a much nicer job out of it than me. And then we'll just backstitch that one again. 
Alright, that actually worked out quite well, I'm surprised. I'm usually useless at these. Don't worry about the back, it's fine. So this is a way that you can make that look quite pretty. In other words, if you're gonna, you're gonna have to backstitch anyway, you might as well make it look interesting. And you can do this for all of them, okay? So we're gonna do this for every single one, and you have to make sure your seams are very, very smooth and very, very clean. And you can see bits like this, where that was slightly a little bit too uh, small the width, I've just kind of gone on the outside of it a little bit, okay? You can do that with every single one. So first of all, start off with these ones, which don't have to be done in any order, and same on the opposite side as well. And then we'll come to this front panel and I'll show you and talk to you all about that and also these side seams. Okay, so draw the, do the easy lines first. Okay, um, obviously we're doing our seams, which is fantastic. I just want to show you how you do... Your